Hey everyone, Stephen here, and in today's video I will be showing you some magic that I plan to work on in 2023. So in today's video I thought we'd show you some magic that I plan to incorporate into my working repertoire. Over the last couple of years I have just been stuck doing the same things. I want to try and spice my magic up and challenge myself a little bit more in 2023. So I've decided to try and incorporate some old routines that I do, improve some existing routines and also put in some new magic. So this will allow me to challenge myself and by putting it on the internet it will give me some accountability. So there are five things that I put into my working repertoire and there is one that I want to work on just simply for fun and enjoyment. So I'm going to take you through that list, I'm going to highlight some pros and cons, I'm going to give you a little bit of history and how I came up with the routines and why I want to put it back in or why I want to improve the existing routine. So let's get into it. The first trick that I want to incorporate into my working repertoire is actually an old one that I used to do quite a lot. However, I have tailored the routine in a little bit to try and make it more in the hands. And that might have been one of the issues with the trick originally was it was not in the hands as much as I wanted it to be. So I recently saw a video of Craig Petty doing a similar trick and I've drew inspiration from that, combined it with my previous routine and made it an overall better trick. That trick is... The Coins across. If you don't know what coins across is, it's basically you have two coins, you make one go from the fingertips of one hand to the fingertips of the other. One of the issues I had previously was I was doing it down on my hand like this. I was taking the coin, I was going like that, and it was going across to my hand. I recently saw Craig Petty do a similar routine where he made it appear in their hand, so I am now going to work on that. One of the other issues was that the coins were all down at waist height. They were flat on my palm, so it meant everybody had to look down. So what I've decided to do is try and change the framing of the routine and do it more at chest height so everybody can see and they don't need to look down. And it also includes this pretty, pretty face. The next trick that I would like to include uses a ring and a rope or a cord. So this is the famous ring on string routine where you take the ring, you place it on the string, you pull, you give it a little snap and it comes off. So the ring on string I've been a massive, massive fan of, but I always felt that my routine was just a showcase of different moves. So what I plan on doing is taking the ring and string and structuring it in such a way that it actually makes a flowing routine. Another thing I want to do is I want a better ending to the routine. Over the years I've tried various different routines, various different endings, but I've never been happy with just one. So I've decided in 2023 to reach out to other magicians and see how they end their ring on rope routine and maybe just maybe that'll help me and inspire me to create a better routine. So the third trick that I want to work on uses one of these, that is a Rubik's Cube. So if you are an avid viewer of the channel, you will know that I have mentioned previously about a cube routine that I wrote recently. For many years I was performing a Rubik's Cube routine that I was happy with, I really enjoyed it. And then I ran and promoted a multi-man magician show called The Delusions of Grandeur. And within that show I decided to write a brand new routine using phases of that existing cube routine and incorporating some new bits. The pattern was very specific and was tailored to suit that exact show. I then went through to Edinburgh and done a performance of that routine where I tailored the pattern a little bit differently. What I want to do is I want to create this as a more commercial practical routine that can be performed at more intimate venues. So I want to try and make this routine more streamlined, a bit more practical and just change the presentation a little bit. Alright, so I just thought I'd uh, take a few seconds in this video to give you a wee life update and just uh, have a little chat with you. As you will know, I am a full-time professional magician and entertainer. And last week was really, really busy. I was at a corporate event, I was performing there and it was very similar to the one in the last vlog. If you haven't saw that, make sure you watch it. There's a wee link up there. As well as that, I've done a wedding fair. It was my first wedding fair of 2023 and it went really, really well. If you do want me to post a wee video about a wedding fair and kind of tips and tricks that I have learned over the years, please comment down below. So yeah, that's what I've been up to. I've been to a corporate gig this week, done a wee wedding fair, rock and roll. So let's get back into the video. 
The next track I want to incorporate into my working repertoire is another old classic, one that I have done previously. For many years I've been performing a track called Hypnotic Trance. This is a track that I have created. It is a, my go-to card routine. It's available in my lecture working on the fly, but let's not plug that here. So over the years I have neglected other card magic and one trick that I used to do quite a lot is one called the ACR. In case you don't know, the ACR stands for Ambitious Card Routine. I am going to show you a quick example of exactly what that trick is. So I'm going to show you using these. These are the Guardian playing cards from Theory 11. Okay, if you don't know what the ambitious card routine is, I will show you. It's basically where you take a card. In this case, it is the Joker. We take it, we leave it right there in the centre. You push it in, press the magic button, it jumps right to the top. So over the years, I have done the ambitious card routine. However, I, I have not done it for maybe four, four years. It's a great trick. I, I feel that I have a really, really good ambitious card routine, but it's just something that I don't get into the habit of doing. So in 2023, I want to get into the habit of doing the ambitious card routine a little bit more. And the last item on the list isn't something I want to add into my show, it's just something that I want to play with, something I want to investigate and learn a little bit more. It is the billiard balls. Back in October I was at the IBM convention in Eastbourne. So at the IBM convention I sat with two friends of mine, Taylor and Fraser. They are two fabulous manipulators. And part of their act, they both do billiard balls. I was inspired by that and I thought that looks like something that I could learn. Over my career there's been various times that I've looked at billiard balls and thought, oh that'd be cool if I could do it. But now I felt I was capable enough of doing it. And listening to them discuss it, it made it sound a little bit more simpler than what I expected. And it sounded more realistic of something that I could learn to do. I was at the same convention that I saw Mark James lecture and in his lecture he also explained the billiard balls. The way that Mark broke down the moves made it sound really really simple and made me think you know what I could learn that. So recently I was having a conversation with my good friend Charlie. Charlie is a magician who does a lot of stage magic and he has recently played with the billiard balls. So he decided to send me this. This is Born by Born Lee and also some of these. These are billiard balls. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to try and learn it. I have only played with them a little bit, but I am quickly getting the grasp of making one ball into two, and pretty soon I'll be able to do all five. So over the year, I just want to work and play and enjoy learning a brand new genre of magic. And there we have it. That is this week's video. If you have enjoyed the video, make sure you give me a wee thumbs up, click the big subscribe button, and switch the notification bell on so every time I post a new video, you do get notified. And next week is a bit of a Blackpool special. It will be a review of two tricks that are going to be released at Blackpool. So remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on that amazing video. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.